Today we're going to talk about Newton's Universal Law of Gravitation. <clears throat> Besides the laws of motion, Newton came up with the Newton's three laws. There was also, he got thinking one day as he's sitting there, everybody says underneath the apple tree, watching the apple fall, that does this work here? This works here. We know F equals MA. We know that's true on Earth. For there's a force, there's mass, there's acceleration. But what about in the universe? What about other planets? During this time period, Newton was born into, there was controversy on the universe, the, how the stars moved, how the Earth and the planets moved. So does Newton's, he was thinking, what about these laws on other planets? Will this be the same on the moon as it is on Earth? That was the question. So he did some thought experiments and thinking about it. He decided that there has to be something. He said that you have some mass, one, has to interact with mass, two, and he decided or determined it has to be on their separation distance, some magic constant is equal to the force. So force is equal to a gravitational constant, mass one, mass two, divided by radius squared. So he had to think about it. And what does that really mean? It means that you have your two masses and your distance squared. That distance squared is what affects it the greatest, if you think about it. Because if you have, say, the moon and the earth, the Earth is many, many times bigger than the moon. So this radius is what's affecting them. Let's put it to the test. Let's say, for simplicity, mass 1 is equal to 1. Mass 2 is equal to 2. And let's say our radius squared, let's say, for the time being, let's say, is 2 squared. So we know F equals G mass 1 mass 2 over radius squared. So that means we've got G mass 1 is 1, mass 2 is 2, our radius squared is 2 squared, so that means it is 2 G over 4. So that means we have G divided by 2 is our force here. Well, let's see what happens if now our radius squared becomes 4 squared. So we got force is 2G over 4 squared, which is 2G over 16. So that becomes G divided by 8. So it's now 8, whereas it was 2. So that means it is 4 times smaller of a force.